you know, you're a passionate Remainer, we know that, but I also sense that you, you, you wanted to gauge some, some reaction from some of your followers and some of your listeners as well. Well, well I mean, to me, obviously, it's not going to get past an HR uh, department, <laughs> but morally, you know, it's like if we were all on an aeroplane and some of us voted to switch the engines off, then, and there's only a limited number of parachutes, then I don't really think they should go to the people who voted to switch the engines off. And likewise, these people who voted Brexit, I mean, the, the examples that I've got are certain people who own businesses in Manchester. One of them, he warned, his, wor he warned his workers first. He said, listen, I can't tell you how to vote, but this business relies on our trade with Europe and also the value of the pound. If we leave, it's going to affect how many of you might have jobs in the future? And then he said he was going around his sites and he's hearing blokes going, oh, it's just project fear. And he said, and he's having sleepless nights and worrying mm. about his business. So, he, so he's obviously, he's already got rid of these people first. So he's actually done this? Oh, no, yeah, quite a few have done it. You're not going to tell us who they are, because, of course, you can't... No. You can't I mean, I mean morally, sack people. Morally, of it is the goodness. right thing to do. And let's face it, that is what they voted for. They said it's going to be short-term pain, so they'll be happy, because in a few weeks' time, they'll get an even better job and it'll be sunlit uplands. It'll be um, that Brexit... And, and then there was that one guy who said, look, I would, eat, I would rather eat grass than be in the EU. So there you go. There's a whole field of it. Help well, yourself, mate. Shall we see what Tim Martin, uh, a big uh, voter for leave, uh, Weatherspoon's chairman as well, shall we see what he thinks about that? Is it morally uh, the right thing to good, do, it's Tim? It's quite a good metaphor, isn't it, Tim? Uh, to say that, for, from Terry's perspective, to say that you're on an aeroplane and uh, half the people vote to switch the engine off. If there's limited parachutes, why should they get them if they've made that decision? Well, it's interesting, actually, because uh, Terry is evoking a very sectarian view of, uh, of the referendum. I was uh, brought up mostly in Belfast and uh, it recalls the bad old days of the 1970s where if someone took an opposite view to you, uh, you viewed them as being inferior and worthy of bad treatment. It's changed a lot today in Ireland, but perversely enough, it's the UK that now has this battle for self-determination, which is how people like myself view it. We think the EU's uh, undemocratic yep. and that we'll be better off economically outside. And Terry just can't see that, well, well, which I is mean, fair I enough. That's what happens in these circumstances. Look yeah. at Greece. Look at the very well, high youth unemployment. 75% of people in Greece want to remain in the, the EU. You know, that's the reality. I mean, look, I mean, well, I, res that I, I mean respect... It's successful no, no, but economically. Tim, Tim I, respe I respect you and your, and your view. What I'm saying is this is what they voted for. They voted for the short-term pain. So allow them to have it. I mean, look, if I was... Well, if, the, I, I, we, no, if, I if I was in charge... If I was in charge of Weatherspoons like you, I, too, would want a no-deal Brexit, because, you know, my pubs rely on selling the cheapest booze, the cheapest food in the poorest nonsense. areas. You create more nonsense. poor areas, I'd Terry, sell even more beer, wouldn't I? Nonsense. You know, if I was selling loaves of bread at 10 p a loaf, you know, and it, and it was a bit mouldy and stale, I'm going to sell more of that if everyone's poorer. So, obviously, you want a no-deal Brexit. Uh, I mean, you're the only Terry, business... You Terry, let, 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 let Tim, sorry, Tim, go on, you, you respond. We'll, we'll, we'll ask Terry just to let you respond. You, uh, Terry, you are to common sense and economics what uh, Tiger Woods is to monogamy. You have no understanding right, of Tim. it at so, all. Well, in that Absolutely. case, then, Most... if businesses... I mean, I think there's an element that Terry might be flying a flag here, by the way, but as he said, it, it's not going to get through I an HR, so, is yeah. it? But, Tim, look, if... Uh, uh, Brexit doesn't go to plan, and it, my goodness, whatever you voted, you don't feel it is right now, do you? Um, if it doesn't go to plan, who is to blame then if people have to be laid off? Who is, who is it the fault of? Well, I, th I think we're all getting terribly wound up and our thought processes are in tight little circles. Well, but Have they were a look warned, around the world. That's they always the best it would thing. Cost jobs. This is the it best. is now costing well, I can't jobs. Speak if Terry Suck keeps it up. No, but, you, but you're you're denying the reality, Tim. Let's just stick to the actual reality. You know, we've all looked at the Terry, unicorns you're a and the fantasies. So you know very you... well. If you just keep talking, I well, can't no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Let's stick to the point. Okay. Morally, who should get laid off first? Yeah. They, that's Morally, that's case point. Can you they, answer they, that they question? They voted for the who short term. Who should get laid off first? Shouldn't they go Let him answer. What they voted for? All right, Terry. Go on, Tim. 
Do you want me to speak? Yes, yep. please. Or have I finished? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I thought Terry was still speaking. No, no morally. Terry, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Tim, who should assumption. we blame? Who should be laid off? You <laughs> answer. Terry is making the assumption that we'll be worse off, which you we heard immediately before the referendum in 2016 that we'd lose 700,000 jobs by now. We've actually created half a million. And uh, that is in direct contradiction to what everyone said would happen who wanted us to be frightened into voting Remain. So it isn't true we'll be worse off. Look at. Look at uh, okay. democracy okay, around Tim. the world. OK, Tim, we're, that's, that's getting back to the Project stick, Fear. Yes, but if, sorry, fact, Terry, just one wrong. moment. I want to get him to answer your question. If it does go wrong, who do you, would you blame them? You, would you then say, don't lay off the Leave voters, they just made a good decision. I blame the politicians, I blame the companies for not managing it well. If people are going to have to take responsibility, who should it be? If we leave the EU, it will increase the level of democracy no, in the UK, and we know that democracy works. So if there's been recessions within the, while we've been in the EU, and there are recessions outside the EU, in the long run, if you vote leave, leave the EU without a deal preferably, it'll increase the level of democracy. And all the evidence is, okay. look around the world, that that's okay, better Tim, economically think, and course, better for jobs. Tim, Tim you, are, you are absolutely, I mean, explaining to us that you would quite like us to leave without a deal, which, which makes you relatively uh, in the minority. Great, great with the weather spoons, more poverty, in the minority. sell more cheap boots. OK, but, but Terry, the, the, the point that, that Tim is trying to make is that actually we don't know. Because well, we, we do haven't because, well, no, no, well, my savings, my savings have already reduced by 18%. Because of the pound is that euro. Is the uncertainty? Right? Right? No, oh, well, no, would argue no, that this, once this is tied because, up, it would change. This is because all our trade is done with Europe. A no deal Brexit is a car crash. It will destroy us. You know, okay. ask any expert. I mean, the, one of the reasons why Tim, God rest his soul, God bless him, is wheeled out every He's now and then. He's still there, OK, is he is about so the only I'm businessman. The him, and James Dyson, is, him and James Dyson, who's just, who's just got off to Malaysia, who isn't even based here anymore, are the only people in business who are actually pro-Brexit. OK, well, look, Everyone else is, is in the real world. Is your poll still in business? Cos I think yes, currently it's 44%. I've had, I've had, I've had Breitbart on me. I think they've given up on annoying Muslims and uh, Jewish people, and now the picket... Apparently, I'm a Bolshevik. Then you oh. I, I, I always thought it was slightly to the left of Gordon Brown, but there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. 44% uh, on your poll of, say, yes, sat the Leavers first, 29% the Remainers, and 27 say, you know, don't well, choose. That's what they voted 14, for. 14,000 voted so far, so if you Short want to get your pain, vote out, suck get involved. it up. Well, look, uh, Terry, it's always interesting to get your thoughts, uh, provocative mm, as you. they are. At, well, not, and also... not provocative, realistic. And ah, Tim as always well, like the last thank word. you for joining. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do fantastic out of Bre out of a no Terry deal Brexit. Terry, Chancellor of the Exchequer, I say. All, all, oh, all, okay. all that cheap booze, cheap food, more poverty. It's going to be boom time for Weatherspoons. Okay, and it'd be great with all his there. profits if he actually pays his workers a living. Oh, oh Terry, come on. Uh, <laughs> Tim, You're saying, right. Tim. You're better for democracy, Terry, too. Terry, thank you very much. I think we need a bit of a rest, Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> I need a breather. We're talking death in paradise. Death in the studio at the minute. <laughs>